Well, let's get to some reaction to all of this immediately now with the SNP's Europe spokesman, Stephen Gethins, who's at Westminster. And we're also joined by the entrepreneur, Richard Tice, who's co-founder of Leave.eu. Uh, good, good, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Uh, Stephen Gethins, if I can begin with you, do you think the Prime Minister has got enough here to work with to persuade people that uh, the UK should stay as part of the European Union? Well, I don't think he's got enough to keep his party happy. Um, I mean, this, this is always been, I think it's a missed opportunity. I think Europe needs reform. I think he's missed the opportunity to do so. I'll still be campaigning to, to stay within the European Union. I, I think that's for the best. Others may take a different view. But I think it's a pity that we've missed this opportunity today. And there's this, there appears to be very little in this uh, from what we've seen previously. Uh, Richard Tice, perhaps a, a point of agreement there with, with Stephen Gethins. I agree. There's absolutely nothing in this document. The Prime Minister is trying to deceive the British people by saying that there's substantial change. There is nothing except a restatement of the existing status quo. We've already got a veto with other parliaments, uh, with other nations, through the Council of Ministers. So the red card system is a complete red herring. It's not a complete status quo, is it? The emergency break, for example, no time limit on how long it will, will have to stay in place and it would be put in place uh, immediately if uh, Britain votes to stay in the EU. Well, let's be clear. The British people, their number one concern is immigration, uncontrolled, chaotic immigration. And this, this is nothing. We want to be in control of our own borders. We don't want some break that other EU countries can withdraw 6, 12, 18 months down the road. It's a complete red herring. He's trying to deceive the British people and they won't be taken for fools. Uh, I'll just get back to Stephen Gethins in a second, but very quickly on that point, Richard Tice, but don't you think that there are other European nations who may wish to apply uh, a break themselves and therefore would be likely to support it? Well, quite sensibly, they want control of their own borders and we're seeing a breakdown of the Schengen system and, you know, the British people, they want control. They don't want some break that's peddled and looked after by someone else. Uh, Stephen Gethins, yeah. uh, on the issue of sovereignty, has mm. the Prime Minister done enough on this to, to say uh, that Britain actually has control of its own destiny? Because lots of people are saying, well, no, you still need uh, this other block of, of European states to vote with you. Well, look, I think first things first is um, I'm not sure there's, there's, there's much in here. Um, Richard and I will, will, will have a good debate over, over the next few months and others, and I, I, I look forward to that. And one thing that we want to put forward is, is um, look, immigration can be a good thing. It's been a good thing in Scotland. You know, we've got, we've got um, immigrants making a fantastic con con contribution to, to our country. And don't forget, there are UK citizens, about 2.5 million UK citizens across the European Union who benefit from free movement and who benefit from membership of the European Union as well. So let's not forget about that and let's have a positive campaign to keep us in the European Union. Uh, do you think, Stephen, that uh, voters actually are going to be persuaded, particularly one way or the other, by this detail? Or have they largely made up their minds anyway? I'm not sure that what David Cameron has, has, has gone off, I'm not sure that's going to make a huge amount of difference. What will make a difference are, 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 are those of us from both sides making a positive case, for, in my case, for staying in the European Union, in, in Richard's case, and I respect that, against being in, 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 in the European Union. But that's also why we need to have a decent timescale to be able to debate this, which again is why the referendum shouldn't be in June. Mm. Uh, is June a decent timescale for you, Richard Tice, or do you think yeah. that the, the Prime Minister having uh, produced this draft deal or having received this draft deal now is at an advantage in terms of any campaigning that he wishes to do? Not at all. We're ready whenever he calls it. Stephen's right. Immigration is a positive, but you have to be able to control the quality and the quantity. And we welcome the best global talent for the right jobs in this country. That's what we've always done uh, until 2004. OK, well, uh, we leave it there for the moment. Much more debate to come, of course. Uh, Richard Tice, co-founder of uh, uh, Leave.eu, and Stephen Gethins, the SNP's Europe spokesman. Thank you both very much for your time this morning.